Hi all, Karen Doll coming at you. Um, yeah, missed the weekly vlog last week and giveaway just to fill you guys in. I ended up coming down with the flu. <laughs> so I was pretty much non-functioning all of last week. Didn't work, didn't really do too much of anything. So hence, no vlog and the Shopkins cutie car giveaway has not been done yet. I am currently at 103 subscribers. Yay! So um, I will be getting that giveaway organized, figured out. Like I said, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different with this one compared to my previous giveaways. Also, the other big news was is, I shouldn't say was, but well, technically it was yesterday. Yesterday was my year anniversary of the channel on YouTube. So that's quite exciting to see, you know, where things have gone in a year. Considering, you know, a year ago when we started this, I was just kind of like, Okay, let's see how this goes. So here we are. Um, not sure if I'm going to do a year giveaway yet or not. Unfortunately, with the whole flu thing last week, it kind of really put the gabosh to a lot of things because I just was not functioning at all. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I am going to try to work on getting that um, cutie card giveaway up here as soon as possible. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out kind of what I want to do with it. And I got to see, I have an idea what I want to do with it, but I got to see if I can do it is the big thing without it being too much of a uh, to do, to do or whatever you want to call it. I don't, it's like, I want to make you guys work for a little bit more than just entering, but I got to make sure, you know, it's not going to be to the point where it's like, yeah, it's not worth it. So stay tuned. Hopefully I will have that up if not by the end of this week, by the beginning of next week, what, like I said, once I get everything figured out, um, I just returned to work today. So um, it's Monday the 12th. Obviously, if I said yesterday, well, you guys probably not went in another date, but February 11th is when my first video, I'm assuming my first video was up. It's about creating the account. So they're about... Um, so it's like I'm trying not only to get work back in order, but get personal stuff back in order. I am still not 100% because I'm still extremely exhausted. I'm just so tired. I had seen my doctor last week. Um, she said that, honestly, because I had the stomach version of the flu, which I only thought the flu was respiratory. But she said, honestly and truly, it's probably going to be a couple weeks till I'm feeling normal again. <laughs> whatever normal is. I don't know what normal is myself. So, um, like I said, I'm just extremely tired right now, kind of laid around all, most of the weekend, most of the last week, did some work from home, but did some video editing. So like some new video reviews are going to be coming up. Um, kind of taking it easy this week back to work and everything just because, um, I don't want to be out sick again because I can't afford to for one thing, but, um, just kind of, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things right now. So uh, that's kind of where things are. Um, a couple of you did comment on my last vlog when I was saying about the Toys R Us stuff. You know, a few of you didn't know. And um, just kind of keep checking. I I know, um, I believe I said last week, one of the ones I thought was closing is not closing. It's actually a Babies R Us location. But there is another location I went to on occasion when I worked my previous job. So pending, you know, weather, all that fun stuff, I may venture up there just to kind of see what sales they're having. There's another person I work on YouTube who actually, that's the one that she usually goes to. And I know, um, not this week's shopping video that she did because she didn't even go to Toys R Us, but her one the week before, they were putting a lot of older stuff out and all that. So it's going to be kind of the clearing out piece. Um, for those of you that are my age and old enough to remember Children's Palace, and we're going back, Children's Palace opened, I know around here back in the 70s, because my mom actually worked there, and it closed 
when I was in high school, I believe. So that was like the nineties. And I know that's kind of how it was. Cause like, I remember when my mom was working and helping to close down the store, it was like all this stuff was being pulled out. Like, I guess it's like some stuff that, you know, they box up with the intent of sending it back to the, um, supplier or whatever, but you know, it's kind of like when you're packing up stuff at home and it gets shoved to the back of a closet to an extent, then they're, you're cleaning out and finding stuff that like, wait, I didn't remember still having this or anything. So that's kind of what it sounds like with that. Um, I'm not going to say I'm just, I am disappointed to hear this. I'm hoping, you know, this isn't a ongoing trend and that they end up closing more and more stores. Um, I know the store in my area, I was a little surprised was not on the list because it's not one, at least when I am there, but sometimes I'm there at different times. It doesn't seem like they're ever real, real busy, which I'm, I'm glad they're not on the list, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to the point that they are on the list. Cause like I said, the next nearest one that I thought was closing is probably a good half hour for me, which isn't too, too far, but it's also in a busier area that I don't frequent because of traffic and everything else. And that, in fact, the um, sales tax is a percentage higher there. That's because of the county, because they in Pennsylvania, sales tax is 6%. Well, in Allegheny County, they have this extra 1% that goes towards county fund stuff. So it's one of those things where like, I try not to buy too much stuff there because of that. I mean, I know it's only a percent, but that can add up at times. So um, yeah, it's one of the, it's, like a catch-22. I mean, if I would have to go to a Toys R Us there, I would go. Um, not that you can't use the online stuff and everything else, but I think it's just sometimes I like seeing the stuff in stores as well. And I get, because I've ordered stuff and not just from Toys R Us, from others, Target and everything. And like, you can't inspect the stuff as much as you can whenever you're at a brick and mortar type store and can like, okay, check. Because I even know like buying my dolls and that I do try to check them over for marks, um, you know, something, if it looks like something I can get off the doll, that's fine. But I mean, I really do check and especially cause you know, guys know how much I like the, um, dolls with the eyes that close. Sometimes I've looked at dolls and their eyes won't close. Right. So that's the only thing like, yeah, it's convenient to be able to shop online, but then you don't know fully if you're going to get what you want. So, I mean, it's like a catch 22, I guess, so to speak, where it's, you know, it, yeah, it's, there's the convenience factor, but you also, it's not like you're, you can go through, browse the store and then be like, okay, pull this one up, look at it a little bit bigger picture and everything. And that's the exact one you're going to get. No, you don't have, because it's like the picture can be a, a stock photo from a store in California and they're shipping from Michigan. You, know, you guys know um, how that goes and everything. So I guess I'm a little on my soapbox today, but so like I said, that's something, you know, I'll be keeping an eye out on as well. Um, I'm not going to say I'm a diehard and follow stuff like that. I mean, I do, you know, read some new stuff and all that and, you know, Facebook and everything where you, where you get a lot of your information and all that. So, I mean, I know I did get an email from Toys R Us about how some of the stores were starting their 30% off clearance. And then another YouTuber I was watching yesterday who does um, the Pop Funko stuff, um, he said that, it even said about store fixtures and that were included in that sale, which kind of surprised me because that's usually some of the last stuff to go is the fixtures and everything because they're trying to get rid of things. So I don't know if they're trying to plan this to be a short process with closing the stores down or what, but who knows? Like I said, um, I may venture up to the one. The only thing is since I don't work near there anymore, it's a good like our trip for me. And that would be even with me taking the turnpike up there. So it's one of those things I may try to venture. If not, I'm not going to be too heartbroken. Um, I'm going to kind of keep an eye out on one other YouTuber I watch that she does frequent that store. And, uh, and I'll see, kind of see what her videos are showing to see if it's something that would be worth my time. Cause I could even um, go a day after work and it would, I think it's like a half hour or something from where I work taking the turnpike. But then I have, the drive back. That's the only thing. Cause it's not like it's, um, a hop, skip and a jump away from me. Um, in the middle of everything last week though, Friday, I was out for a little bit cause I had, a, was feeling better, had a little bit more energy. So I did stop at, um, 
my local Toys R Us and I stopped at a different Walmart. So I do, I did pick up a few things. Um, haven't been to Target. No, it's only been two weeks. I was at Target two weeks ago. So I think I showed you guys all that stuff um, in my vlog, my last vlog um, that I picked up because I found like a couple on end things. Um, we did film those reviews. I'm editing. I'm on to my January reviews right now. So I'm getting getting closer to, <laughs> to getting caught up. Um, also, uh, second part of Slipper Party High Jinx is up. Check out the first part as well. I have to edit the third part still. I have, like I said, last week really knocked me for a loop. I like didn't get anything done I had planned. So, and um, you know, the couple of reviews that are going to be post the couple that were posted Monday that even though my vlog won't get up till tomorrow, those were ones I kind of sat and did like Thursday because I was actually feeling okay and able to stay awake. But even um, going to work today, I am so tired already. So it is what it is. We're going to muddle through. Um, so I'm hoping to get a lot more of that stuff edited. Um, I have a new intro to edit for you guys as well, which um, it's a little different for me. I, I hope you guys get a kick out of it because I've had some uh, complaints, I guess I could say about my current intro I use because, you know, my singing's awful, which I admit, I mean, it's all done and fun. Some people are like, eh, you know what? Fast forward. It's like 40, 50 some seconds, just fast forward it. Um, but the, I'm excited about the new intro um, Bob and I did because it was his idea. He wrote it. I think I practiced it. We practiced, practiced it back over the summer and then between changing jobs and everything, I just never got around to recording it. And then the one day, one weekend, we're like, okay, we're recording it. We're getting it done. Filmed what we needed to. I just got to put it all together. And then I know um, Lulu has an intro um, that we're working on together for her stuff. I do have some more of her videos that her and I have to edit. Um, sorry, guys. I'm trying to get comfortable here on the couch and feel like I'm close up, extreme close ups here. But um so, I mean, there's still a lot of things going on. Like I said, the giveaway, still trying to get to the 500, but let me show you what I did pick up. Um, sorry, a little uncomfortable. These actually I picked up probably about a month ago. I think I had mentioned in my one vlog, there was a Walmart I was at while I was working and they had a couple of the Barbie fashionistas. I liked her hair. That's kind of why I grabbed her. Her outfit's kind of cute too. As I said, I was still kind of undecided because I wasn't overly thrilled with the new Bobby Barbie bodies. And then I kind of liked her outfit. So these guys were on clearance for four bucks um, during our last filming of reviews. Totally forgot to take them out and do the review. So I figured I had them here. I'll show you guys. Like I said, I think I told you guys about that like a month ago. So um, I don't remember what all I picked up at Walmart here because everything's kind of blended together. So I did pick up one of the mega packs for the wild fowl. Um, I was excited to get this. Uh, these were um, best price I've seen them at was at Walmart. They're $14.88. Um, I think they were $17.99 at Target and either $17.99 or $19.99 at Toys R Us. So um, as much as I like getting my rewards at Toys R Us to save two to four bucks, I'm going to get them at Walmart. So we'll be doing a review with that. And I thought I grabbed something else there at Walmart. Oh, no, I grabbed something for Bob. That's why. But I did find, and I had seen a review of this. So, so I wasn't going to get it, but it was the only one there. So I'm thinking this is a new, newer one, but it is an aquarium playset with the My Life ass. So you have your little tank and all the fish stuff and all that. So um, I'm really curious to open this. Um, like I said, I like the My Life play sets because they are reasonably priced. I like when they're on clearance more, but it just seems like at times there's always certain ones that are very, very popular. And I have found if I don't grab them when I see them, I never find them again. So, um, the Walmart I was at this time, it's not, I shouldn't say it's not one I frequent because I do at times. It's not one of my favorite ones to go to because it's just always so, so busy and everything else there. So it's not one I go to all the time, but I was um, in that area. So I stopped in because sometimes they have more stuff than the Walmart I usually go to, which I actually haven't been to my usual Walmart in a 
in a while now. So, but I think that was it for Toys, or I'm sorry, for Walmart. So I did a relatively big haul at Toys R Us. So um, I did pick up, trying to make sure I can get her on cap camera. Another Cabbage Patch Kid. This little girl, there's actually two like this. Um, for some reason, I didn't even check the name. I just was looking at the box, and the other box was kind of damaged. But she was on clearance. Um, her name is, oh, let me see, Gwyneth Cecilia. So I thought she was really cute. I actually had, I was eyeing her up before. I don't know. I was very drawn to her. And it was like when I went the other day, they were, on, she was on clearance for 17 something. So I was like, okay, that's about eight or $9 off what they usually are. So I was like, okay, I'm going to grab her. Then I was so excited about this because I didn't even know anything about these. So I have to go on and do some more research. I found Two of the newer. I'm guessing they're new. I'm going to look. Uh, they're Monster High families. So over here I have, um, they're with their pets. So this is Howleen Wolf, which I was excited because I do not have a Howleen. I've seen her in a couple of the cartoon movies. So I was very, very excited because I she was like one of the ones I didn't have. And then they have... I guess Elvira, Elvia, A L V. Wait, hold on. Her name's on the back of this one. So it's oh, A L I V I A. Elvira Alvila. I'm not sure. Sign. With her, she has like a it looks like a bunny. Halloween has a little hedgehog. I'm trying to look on the back of the box. Um, so I was very excited because I didn't know if they were doing anything more with the Monster High families. And I was very excited to see they're giving Frankie a little sister. So, um, she's very cute, very much looks like Frankie, but like I said, I was very excited about how Lane, cause it was one of those ones, like I've been wanting to get one of her, but, um, a lot of her dolls are kind of retired and very hard to find. So hold on, I want to grab my other bag. Um, cause some of the stuff is like separated here. So let me get out. And I think I got all, I only like, saw three of these. Um, they had additional sets, like with more, like more active type stuff, but these are actually part of the, um, I'm like holding it up in front of my, your face. So you can't in front of my face, so you can't see me, but, um, these are the, oh my gosh, what are these called? The shop pets. I couldn't remember. So, um, they had, I only saw three of Toys R Us. So I grabbed all three. These were like the smaller sets. I think they were five ninety nine. dollars So this was Amber, Amber. Amber bow. And then these guys come with the new fluffy shopkins. Oh no, fluffy shop pets. Sorry. I thought they said fluffy shopkins. So I got her and then this is Foxy lemons and they each come with an exclusive shopkin. And then this is kitty crumbles. And then, like I said, they had some other sets that were a little bit bigger with more like accessories and all that. But um, I didn't grab any of those. I just saw these. They were kind of a nice price. So I was like, okay, let me get these to check out. But I have to say, I did the review of um, the one shop can I bought. And I can't remember her name. And she came with um, a little shop pet as well. And I really like that. I love this with this season. So um, I haven't really seen any of the new shop choppy so so i'm gotta be on the lookout for that i've seen videos of some of them i actually need to make a list of what ones are out right now so i can pick them up and then the last thing i have to share with you is i got two new baby alives these are the little sips babies oops um so i have the blonde and the brunette cannot find the african-american in my location so um, these guys are a little bit smaller than some of the other Baby Alives I've bought recently. So these are more of the, you know, little, I guess, infant type to an, to an extent. So um, these guys do drink and do wet. So they do have their little, oops, do have their little diaper, their little cup and all that. So I'll be doing a review, obviously, with these guys as well. Um, here on the side, they have all three of them. So I couldn't find the little um, African-American girl. Yeah, I think these ones were all girls. Um, I don't think there was any boys with that. And then um, I was looking through the Sweet Spoonful babies, and um, they had a couple, like they had the two IRA, no, 
yeah, they did have the two boys. Um, the one girl they have, it looks so much like one of my other baby alives that I don't think I'm going to pick her up. Um, I definitely want to get the, um, Asian American baby though, because that's something new, um, with that, but I have, didn't want to find her at Toys R Us. I have seen her at Walmart. I might just have to get her at Walmart. I was trying to hold off and get her at Toys R Us so I can get my points. So, um, I do need to go on, um, Baby Live's website and see, excuse me, now I'm getting hiccups, <laughs> you know, what, what all they're coming out with, but, um, it seems like in the winter, fall, there's usually like three to come out and then not the winter, fall, winter, spring, it seems like there's three and then like summer, fall time, there's like three usually, um, pretty much at the store, um, I know sometimes they'll retire certain ones, but I was still seeing like the snacking Sarah's there, the snacking Lily, snacking Luke, um, baby go bye byes, um, the face painting, magical face paint baby. I can't remember exactly what they're called, fairy face, face paint. Like those were out last January. I found those. Um, trying to think like a lot of the newer ones that were out last year, I'm still seeing and actually a few from the year before I'm still seeing a little bit as well. Um, like I said, the snacking Sarah's I'm still seeing out a lot. Um, I can't remember what else. Cause it was kind of one of those things. Like I kind of go through look and it's like, okay, anything new, what's new, but some of the stuff was a little disorganized. I was looking a little bit more, but I don't remember everything. Um, I know Toys R Us still had their, Oh, it's a butterfly surprises. It was their exclusive. Um, I have those two girls, so I wasn't um, looking, but they, like they had still had those ones there as well. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm not hundred percent sure what else they're coming out with, but I mean, like I said, so far I found some new ones. So I'm thinking, okay, they're, they usually do about three. So I'm gonna have to go back on their website. I haven't gone on recently to look. And like I said, I was excited to find um, more with the, Monster High Families, which I was shocked to even find that at Toys R Us because they have the store I uh, I go to. It's so condensed and literally it's so condensed. Like Barbie, it's like Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. And then there's this wee little section that has Monster High, Ever After High, and um, DC Superhero Girls. Because um, I know at my store back in the back early earlier this year, oh my God, it's only February. Like last year, even before Christmas, there was another area where they would put the uh, Monster High and Ever After High. It was a little bit bigger, but now they have the Descended 2 stuff there and the um, MC Square stuff, which um, I thought about getting one of those dolls, but they're not really appealing to me. So I have it. If anybody has any of those, you know, let me know what you think about them. If you guys want to see those reviewed, let me know and I'll look and in, look into them. Um, Trying to think whether I, I didn't really see anything new with Jersey Gr Jersey Girls. Oh my God, Journey Girls the other day when I was there. I mean, there's still a few I want to get. Um, was looking through the Welly Wisher stuff. You know, nothing new new there. Um, you and me, I looked through. There wasn't really anything. Cabbage Patch, nothing new. Chubby Puppies, I didn't see anything new there. I didn't. I didn't even see Littlest Pet Shop, but I even know it that Toys R Us on that, like they've really, like Littlest Pet Shop has really condensed as well, which kind of bums me out because that's something, you know, I like personally and Bob likes personally. We love like the animal stuff and that's something we have gotten into collecting. And it's like, it's kind of like the spirit is taking a, the spirit series, the spirit horse doll. I, I actually have that on my Netflix to watch. Um, just got to get the oomph to do it, I guess, but trying to, Think. Like, I really haven't seen too, too much new stuff. Um, this coming weekend's the New York Toy Fair. So I'm going to be, because I think it starts, I want to say it's, it's run through the 17th or it's, it starts the set. It starts later this week and runs through, I want to say it starts Thursday and runs till Monday or Tuesday. So probably this weekend I'm going to start um, seeing who has videos up. Um, big thing I'm looking for, I want to see what, you know, for real friends is coming out with, um, one other YouTuber I watched, she showed some new dog that they were, that was, um, 
new, but like I said, I haven't gone on the website to look. I've been kind of holding off because I've been waiting for the toy fair to come around. So it's like, okay, what's coming out so I can look? Um, yeah, didn't really see, didn't really have a lot of Hatchimal stuff. No, it was like Num Nums was picked over. Um, Shopkins, it was like, I couldn't find any shoppy dolls. I mean, I did find this little shop pets, which like I said, I really do like this season. I cannot find the blind boxes though for this season. And I really want to get some just because I've watched other videos and I love the animal containers on, especially the unicorn one, get a figure. So it's like, I really wish I could find, I did see some at Target. I didn't grab any, which I'm really kicking myself now, but um, Toys R Us had zero and Walmart had zero when I was there the other day. So I think um, if I end up hitting Toys R Us, not Toys R Us, Target, I'm probably going to pick up a couple. I think they were $2.99 or $3.99, but it's something I really wanted to check out. I've been real excited about, and I, I know at times I'm like, I'm holding off because I want to go to Toys R Us. I want to get my points. Well, sometimes it's just not going to work out, and I have to learn to accept that. So I think that's about it. Um, stay tuned. Shopkins, uh, I keep saying, well, yeah, Shopkins Cutie Cars giveaway is going to be coming up. Um, like I said, I need a couple days to figure it out and then I'll post a video. I'll let you guys know. I'll have it posted. Um, I'm going to give you a date. I'm going to give you a date that I will have it posted by. Hold on as I'm looking on my phone. Okay. Today's Monday the 12th. I will have it posted at the latest next Wednesday the 21st. And that's only because I got to figure a couple things out with it. If I have my way, it's going to be posted this weekend. And you, I'll let you guys know. I will, you know, pull. I will um, do a video, let you know what you need to do. Sorry, I'm checking my notifications to see if anything else came through. But um, it's going to get posted. Like I said, if, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact I had the flu last week, it would have been posted all wet, ready, and a few other things probably would have been posted. But as they say, life happens, and you just got to kind of roll with the pun it punches. But that's it. You know, there's shout outs coming. So please keep, as we've been recording, I have been getting through my shout out list since I did figure out, you know, that I wasn't getting all my comments. So we got that all figured out. And you guys leave a comment. I do interact. If, if, if you leave a comment that, say you leave a comment one day, it may not be that day I, I'll respond, but I do respond to all the comments now that I know where to look for them. So um, I do interact with you guys. So I love interacting with you guys. So just, you know, if you have a question, comment, you know, something you want me to review, let me know. And I do give shout outs because I literally grab my little notebook when I'm checking my comments. If it's somebody I know I haven't given a shout out to, you know, I do write their name down. Like I have an ongoing list. So um, as I do reviews, I do give shout outs. It may come to the point I might have to start doing shout outs and vlogs, but you know, it, um, we'll work it out. Uh, more giveaways are coming. Still trying to reach that 500. I'm excited. I am over the hundred mark. So, I mean, like I said, I want to get to that 500 mark because, like I said, it's going to be a bigger giveaway, three prizes, small, medium, large, however you guys want to look at it. Not sure what's going to be close to that. Close, I just lost my train of thought. Not sure what's going to be, but closer to the time, I will figure it out and I will share with you guys and all that. So, more giveaways are going to be coming and I'm getting... I'm getting the hiccups again. So um, I'm going to get the cutie car giveaway going. Like I said, there's going to be some other ones going. Blind bag videos are still coming. I know they're not real popular with you guys, but I have a ton I film. So they're going to be up. Probably not going to do a blind bag box again, unless for some odd reason, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of views on those and hundreds of requests. You know, otherwise it's probably just going to be more or less if I find some blind items, I might just do a video with blind items like I showed you guys in my last vlog when I had the LOF pets, the Pick Me Pop, and oh, the Figaro keychains I picked up. I just kind of did a video with all those together. That review will be coming. So I think that's about it. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when I post new content. 500 subscribers. It's going to be that big giveaway. Stay tuned for the Shopkins Cutie Car giveaway. Stay tuned. I'm will be deciding if I'm going to do a year giveaway. I just don't know what yet. So, but you guys know there'll be other giveaways coming and everything else. Subscribers, thank you. You guys are awesome. Love you all. Keep coming back. New subscribers, welcome aboard. Hope you're enjoying. Leave a comment if you want a shout out. Leave a comment if there's something you want me to review. Like I said, it might be something we have. So, you know, leave a comment either way and we'll know. Facebook and Twitter, if I haven't said it, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.